Yes. Too late to get a cup of coffee? No, come on in. I was just counting my tips. Have a seat. Oh, it's cold out there. Oh, I'm used to it. You know, I, um, I have this place out in the desert here, and I, I don't come out here that much, but I forget. Well, you know, at night it, it gets cold. <laughs> I'm used to my, my home in Santa Monica. It's really warm. Oh, wow, Santa Monica. You're lucky. Yeah. Wow, ah, thanks. So, do you live around here? Yes. Just around the corner, near the old plaza. By the park? Near the Lady of All Saints Church? Yes, how did you know? I had a good friend who passed away last year, and they held services for him at that chapel. I'm sorry. Was he your boyfriend? Yes, he was. A long time ago. But we remained friends until he died. He was very special to me. I never knew anyone like him. He wanted to marry me, but I just wasn't in love with him that way. But he understood and he never got angry or mad. Instead, he just told me that in life, there are many painful surprises and that some hurt more than others, but like a storm, they too shall pass. And that a good friend who loves you was something to be treasured, not buried alive. That was beautiful. Yes, he was. Very beautiful. I don't know what to say, except that I, I feel like I know you. Like, like once I lost you and now I found you. That's very romantic, but I don't no, think so. I'm sorry, I can't put this feeling away. My heart is pounding right now. I, I feel like I, I'm supposed to tell you something, but I don't even know your name. All right, if you say you know me, then what is my name? You want me to guess? No, I want you to remember. Oh, okay. No, I'm afraid. I can't say it. Why? It's just a name. Because if I don't get it right, you're going to think I'm a phony. That I made it all up. But if I do get it right, you're going to think I cheated somehow or some way. Stop being so afraid. Just follow your heart and just say it. Oh, you think I'm silly, don't you? No, Sam. I think you're sweet. You just said my name. What? You just said my name. No, I didn't. I said, I think you're sweet. No, you said my name. What is it? You just said it. Go on, say it again. You, you tell me mine. Look, you just said it. Please, Mary, just say my name. You just called me Mary. That's my name, Sam. There, you just said it. You called me Sam. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y your name is Sam? Yes, and your name is Mary? Yes, that's... That's unbelievable. unbelievable. Don't say another word. Just, let's just walk out of here and see what happens when we leave. What about the books you wanted to get? No, don't do a thing. Let's just... just come with me to the park, and we'll talk. Okay, Sam? Okay, Mary. What, what about the books? You know, I don't, I don't think that's what I came in here for. I think I came in here thinking that's why I was here, but now I think that a moment like this happens but once in a lifetime, and I don't think I want to let it pass us by. Well, then let's go. I mean, it looks like we've got everything we need right here. Never forget the heat of the fire the rain poured down as we cross over the line I never felt love like this before and I can
How would you like your coffee? Uh, just black. Sure. Would you like a fresh muffin with your coffee? Yeah, sure. What kind you got? Bran or blueberry? You don't mind. I change the okay. Uh, well, what do you think? I would go with the bran. It has cinnamon and raisins. Uh, the bran it is. Good choice. What's your name? Olivia. It sounds Shakespearean. It is Shakespearean. Oh yeah, my mom had to go to the hospital and check on my dad. Oh, is he alright? Yeah, he just, he had an accident. He went off the road, it was icy, he broke his leg, and he's got a lot of cuts and bruises, but the doctors say he'll be okay in a few weeks. He's lucky he's alive. Yeah, I know. I thanked God when we got the call that he was okay. I got down on my knees right here. Sounds like you love him a lot. I do. He's a good father. He's a lucky dad. <laughs> I have a daughter like you to love some. Thank you. He's actually a teacher at the local high school. What subject? English literature and history. Makes sense, and why you've got the Shakespearean name. <laughs> yeah. Shakespeare must be one of his favorite writers. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's actually a pretty good writer himself. He's written a lot of books. How many? Ten. None published. But... Well, maybe number 11 will be the lucky one. Well, then it will have to be mine because he said he's too discouraged to write another. Well, good. Then you get published and that will <laughs> inspire him to go back to writing. I doubt mine will even get finished, let alone published. Why? I'm just not that good. I, my father's books are really great, and if he can't get published, then why should I? Hmm. I'm glad I stepped off here. Why? I'm a published writer. Took me 20 books before I got published. So it's really about not giving up. Tell your father he's on the one yard line. Now's not the time to give up. After all, God didn't take him in the accident, so there must be a reason why he's still among us, right? Maybe it's the next book. Maybe this accident. I'll give him the kind of insight he needs to be able to make this book a Pulitzer Prize winning piece of work. Those are some pretty powerful words, mister. I meant every one of them. I'll tell him what you said. Keep the change. Thank you. Um. Keep writing. 
That's all there is. That's all there ever was. That's all there ever will be. I promise you. Have you ever done any acting? Oh, I hate this curse. I have such body and lustful thoughts. Mm. I, I used to be a righteous woman who dreamt of marriage and children, and now who would have me the way I am? Who in this awful kingdom would touch me from head to toe and never let me go till death do us part? But they cut her up and they took her body parts. They cut who up? They, they cut her up and they took her body parts. But they told me that if I fucked them, I wouldn't have to be cut up and they wouldn't take my body parts. So I fucked them and they said I should fuck them again. And I Who's did. They? And I did. And I don't fuck anymore. You came into my life. Now I know I was blessed. Now I know it's time. For me to say goodbye. You have a great soul. Thank you. I'm a filmmaker. Give me a picture and resume. Drop it off the desert house, you know. Yeah, do you want me to mail it to you? Can you drop it off? Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Okay, take care. Thank you. Thank All you. right? Tía Janet hizo una diferencia para... Porque se aseguró de que usted supiera que... De que usted supiera que se preocupaba. Tía Janet no es enterrada en el suelo. No, está aquí, aquí en el corazón.